Welcome everyone to the introduction and setup video for the Arctica Solar 1500 series Gen 3 solar air heater which combines our favorite parts of the Gen 1 and Gen 2 designs into a nice package we are quite pleased with. The Gen 3 is a 40 inch by 67 inch all aluminum construction with robust side rails, aesthetic appearance, and an integrated solar powered air handling. In the Gen 3, the 10 watt solar panel for the fan mounts directly to the heater body with a provided aluminum bracket and hardware. The heater ships freight up to 20 heaters per pallet with two boxes. The first box is the heater itself with the mounting template on the back of the box. The second box contains all of the heater accessories. Let's go now through the accessories in the box. First, you have a owner and install manual for your heater. You'll have a pack slip and QC checklist. You'll have the 10 watt solar panel with male power out and the mounting bracket. You'll have your intake filter, which is washable, your heat only thermostat, your exhaust collar with gravity damper, your intake collar assembly with fan, thermal switch, and thermostat connection. You'll have four metal mounting brackets for securing your heater to its point of use. You'll have heater mount hardware, collar attach hardware, solar panel mounting bracket hardware, and some aluminized duct tape to secure your heater wire harness to the back of the heater. Now, let's set up this heater for installation. Place the heater glass down in its box or on a soft surface. Using a box knife, remove the aluminum punch out for the intake and exhaust locations you've selected for your installation. Use a box knife to remove the insulation behind the punch out. You'll do this both for the intake and exhaust locations. Use a pair of pliers to remove the insulation plug behind each punch out to make room for your intake and exhaust collars. Use a shop vac to remove any loose insulation from the heater body and the surrounding area. On the intake collar assembly, place a bead of silicone caulk around the intake collar. This will provide an airtight seal between the intake collar assembly and the heater back sheet. Make sure the sticker side of the fan is pointed into the heater body and install as shown. Use a screwdriver or an impact driver to install the provided self-piercing lath screws which secure the intake collar to the heater back sheet. Take care not to over torque these screws as you will strip the threading on the heater back sheet. Undo the twist tie from the wire harness to remove the female power lead connector. The thermal switch and the thermostat leads. Use a piece of provided duct tape to go ahead and secure the wire harness around the intake collar to the heater back sheet and to secure the power lead out the bottom or the side of the heater body. Insert the thermal switch three to four inches inside the exhaust duct hole and secure to the heater body with duct tape as shown. Apply a bead of silicone seal to the exhaust collar and attach it to the heater body, taking care to orient the gravity damper in the proper orientation for your install. As we did for the intake collar, secure the exhaust collar with the four self-piercing lath screws provided. Use part of the remaining duct tape to secure the heater wire harness to the heater back sheet. Now 
use the last of the remaining duct tape to seal off the two unused intake and two unused exhaust duct hole options as shown, which will help prevent any unwanted air loss out of the back sheet during use. Thanks for watching. You can always email us or visit our website for more info.